Hey gang, this is Matt. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Florida Boy Survive. Today we're at my storage unit, and as you can see, I got all my backpacks and everything hanging out. Today we're going to look at something new that I got in the mail the other day. It's really, really cool. And it was suggested to me by the guys on the Discord channel. Remember, I have a Discord channel now. It's starting to get some members on it. There's a link in the description below. I did fix the link and it works. Please come and join the Discord channel and chat with me and exchange some ideas because this is where I found this out. And that thing is this. The British military satchel. I was looking for... Um, a butt pack or something that I can attach to my new condor rig that I'm working on and that's over there on the ground you can't see that yet but this is the British military satchel I think they call it the British military gas mask bag or the British MTP bag or something like that that's a bunch of different names for it but it's this we're gonna call it the British military satchel so let's get down here and take a close look at this guy because it is particularly awesome and you're going to see it quite a bit more okay here it is the british military satchel that we're going to call it um really really cool bag just about the perfect size of a butt pack um i was looking for like a butt pack to go on my condo rig like i was telling you or a small backpack and you can actually make this into a small backpack if you're inventive like I'm going to be, and you can put some straps on it. But when you get it, let's show you around the outside. It's got a flap, okay, Velcro on both sides, okay, and it buttons down here into these two button holes. So you can either, you can either rely on the Velcro, or you can button it, you can pull it over, or if you have it packed out, you know, you can snap it there, and you can kind of adjust the size of the pack. It also has a little pull handle and it's got a zipper down each side so if you want to make the pack a little bit bigger you just fold those out and it makes it gives you some more room makes the pack a little bit bigger in the front but I don't think I'm even gonna have to do that because it's really really cool by itself on the side it's got these cool little uh, molly pouches and they're all mollied in and these perfectly fit a 16 ounce water bottle in there uh, so you can carry 32 ounces of water with you they're not gonna hold like a 700 milliliter aluminum bottle they're not big enough for that it's gonna stick out of the top but a 16 ounce water bottle you know like you normally have the small water bottle fits in there perfectly another cool thing about these pouches is that if you don't need this large pouch you can fold it over to the first molly because it's just got Velcro on it. You can take this pouch, fold it over, secure it, and make a small pouch. So you can have a smaller pouch on the side. Or, if you don't want to use these entirely, you can just take them right off because they're mollied on. Just take them off and put something else on. Now, let's go to the back, because this is the important part. It's got a nice shoulder sling, okay, with plenty of adjustment nice big plastic buckle nice positive buckle it's got a little flap to where if you're adjusting the buckle it won't pull through which is a pretty nice feature i guess but uh, you want to have that adjustment because you want to be able to sling this over your shoulder once you do sling this over your shoulder you're going to see in a minute it's also got a leg strap so you can strap this around your leg the leg strap has a built-in elastic in it, so you can adjust it pretty easily to fit your leg. On the back, it's got mollies, so you can molly it onto a pack. You can molly it onto the Condor Battle Belt, which I'm going to show you in a later video. You can basically molly it anywhere. But a word about these mollies. Evidently, the British molly system measurements are a little bit different than the US Molly system measurements and in the British Molly system these are about midway between the Mollies such as they're a little bit wider than the US but not wide enough to reach that fourth one you know there would be a Molly there and a Molly there and a Molly there and a Molly there but these go midway between 
two molly things, two molly hooks, okay? So you either have to hook these to the inside mollies or you have to spread them apart and hook them onto the outside mollies. I found a way around that and I'll show that to you later also. But you can unclip it, the, the shoulder strap, okay? Or you could just clip it right back on. Uh, that's the back of the pack. Now let's check out the inside of the pack. This is pretty cool. Okay, so here is the real meat and potatoes of the pack. Okay, we're just going to zip down the, the little extender. It makes a nice wide open pack. It's got a little elastic strap right down here that you can hold some stuff in. in. On each side, it's got a pouch. So there's a big pouch on one side, but on the other side, the pouch is sewn into three smaller pouches. I don't know if you can quite see that. It's sewn into three smaller pouches. And it's, it's actually stitched along the inside. I may take that stitching out and make this one big pouch. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. But it opens up into a nice wide backpack type of a pouch. Okay. And that's going to fit a lot of stuff. This is, you know, about that deep, which is pretty deep. This will hold easily a Nalgene. It'll hold a tarp. It'll hold uh, a lot of stuff. Trusty canteen cup, a lot of cool stuff. It's padded on the bottom, padded on the back, padded on the sides. You know, throw your stuff in there. Zip up the... Zip up the adjustment, fold the pack down, Velcro it, bam. You are rocking and rolling. The British military satchel. Now, let's go up and talk about what we learned today. All right, here we go with the British military satchel. Man, this thing is so cool. It's got the little Molly pouches on each side. It's got the Mollies in the back. It's got our nice strap that we can use for a shoulder strap, another bag on this side, and it's got the full adjustment in the front that you can pull down and make it into a bigger bag. This is going to be really, really cool. Um, like I said, I, I was really looking for something to use on my, uh, on my new Condor rig that I put together. And uh, I'm going to show you that Condor rig pretty shortly. And that's going to be a really, really great hiking rig. But here we go. The British Military Satchel. I got this at a place called Coleman's. And they were on sale last week for 16 bucks a piece. And like I said, the guys on the Discord channel turned me on to this. I had no idea that thing even existed. Uh, and there, there is a link to join the Discord page. Please join the Discord channel. You can come over and chat with me and the rest of the guys and maybe get some pretty good ideas. But this came from a place called Coleman's. They were 16 bucks a piece. So I got two of them. Paid 45 bucks with shipping. Now they're up to, I think, $24.95 a piece. But it's still a really, really good deal. If you're searching for a bag like this, that's a really, really good option. So there we go with our short review of the British Military Satchel or Gas Mask Bag or MTP Bag, whatever you want to call it. And this is Matthew Floyd Boy saying, I will see you on the trail.